Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7 and Pro A7 Plus panels, and the enrollment of the Pro Series Pro 6 PIR motion detector. Now this is a pretty simple one. Uh, most of the time when you're doing this, there's gonna be a battery tag that you pop. I'm gonna do this as if you have already done that and you need to enroll it from scratch. So uh, what we're gonna do first uh, is go ahead and uh, let you know that this does need a firmware update prior to doing anything on this. You cannot program this panel locally, for sensors at least, uh, until you have had the firmware update done on this Pro Series panel. So give us a call. We can get it activated, we can get the uh, firmware update done for you, and then you'll be able to do this. For those of you that have had the firmware update done and you're ready to do this, we'll go ahead and proceed. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna hit the menu key. We're gonna scroll down to where it says tools. At this point, we're gonna enter our installer code, which is 4112 if it's still factory like mine is. Otherwise, go ahead and enter your installer code. Go ahead and go into the programming menu you'll see a new list pop up. We're gonna go into peripherals. And once in peripherals, you'll typically have a list of all your zones in here and what you have. I don't have anything, this is a fresh panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign up there at the top. And what we're gonna to need to do is pop the cover off of this motion detector, which you do by pressing down on this little spot here and then just lifting up from the other side, like so. Boom, so we'll do it again one more time here so you guys can see it. Press down, push up, okay? As you can see here, the, bat, uh, the green light was flashing quickly and it's gonna keep flashing and then eventually go solid for a moment and it'll learn into the panel. So you should see this here momentarily, there we go. Our motion is now learned in, you can put your back plate back on. Also inside of the back plate, you can see the two screws that are used for mounting. So they are there. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this back here together now, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and program the motion detector. So go ahead and scroll down. You can see uh, the different listings of things that are here. You can change the partition on it. Uh, the zone number, my zone number will be one. It is a motion sensor. We'll go ahead and we'll program in the zone description. So we'll put front for the motion type and then save. Go ahead and scroll down after you've done that. And we do want it supervised. We do want the alarm to report. And for the response type, Interior follow or interior with delay is typically what you want to set it if you're trying to uh, be able to move around your house when you have it arm stay. Uh, if you want the motion to be active at all times, uh, then you, uh, well not at all times, but whenever it's armed, I'm sorry, uh, then you want to set it as a perimeter. And that means that the motion will become active whether it's stay or away modes. So we keep scrolling down here. The chime is disabled because we don't want it to chime every time we walk by it. Uh, the arm night is off and the pet immunity is on, which means that you, if you have a dog, it can walk around uh, and uh, it won't trigger this motion. At this point, we'll go ahead and we'll hit save because I don't want to add another one. You'll see the sensor here. We'll go ahead and hit the back arrow all the way out of programming because I'm not programming anything else. And the way I, I would typically test this is arm it and then give it a shot. But as you can see, it is programmed in. Anytime that I, I wave my hand in front of it, it's giving us a trouble condition and then it goes away when I stop. So this thing is programmed in, it's ready for use, so now you would get it mounted. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, this is how you program in the Pro 6 PIR motion detector into the Honeywell Home Pro Series, Pro A7, and Pro A7 Plus panels. You guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.